Hello friends, my name is The Real Emil and welcome back to Need for Speed Most Wanted. Today we're going to be taking out Blacklist Racer number 15. So let us go and learn a bit more about Mr. Black Racer 15. I don't know if I'm going to get copyright strikes for that, we'll have to find out. Anyway, uh, let's, let's go through the bio. This here is Sonny, he's dumped a whole lot of cash into his car. That ride is work, so don't be fooled, it's a rocket. He does everything he can to get a hold of parts before they hit the streets. Alright, so he's got a Golf. Um, it was kind of a new car when this game came out. It's kind of a cool looking Golf, uh, so I think we'll have it. Right, so what do we need to do? We need to win three races. Uh, do three milestone and get a total bounty of 20,000 uh, which means apparently we have to do all these so we may as well start with that one <laughs> because it's kind of there all right let's go and go and go um, now I do want to quickly apologize for the last episode basically um, ooh is there rain in this version of the game I don't think oh that's Audi TT has got a strange body kit on it um, 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 uh, okay. There we go. Um, I have no idea what happened there. Yeah, that RDT has got a weird body kit on it. Anyway, I do want to quickly apologise uh, for the last episode, basically the first episode. Uh, the cutscenes, the audio on them was actually quite low, whereas my voice was quite high now. I could have turned the game audio up, but basically that would have sort of caused issues. Um, for actually sort of, um, you know, when I'm actually playing the game, you know, my voice is quite loud. Uh, well, my voice isn't actually that loud, so if I had, hold up, there's one quick thing we need to do first. Uh, and that, of course, is gameplay car damage needs to be off because I don't like car damage. Um, yeah, so basically... Yeah, uh, the cutscenes were a little bit quiet compared to my voice. I could have changed that around, you know, with some fancy editing. However, I'm really not good when it comes to editing yet. Uh, I don't have a particular. I don't really have an editing program. I don't throw any of my videos through editing programs. Uh, pretty much, pretty much all the videos on this channel, save for the sort of the reviews and the Top Gear laps, are all um, raw stock Elgato footage. Nothing used to edit. So, you know, I, I, that's why I kind of like the Elgato capture card, because of the software you get. You don't really need to edit it, because the game, like, looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> like, the Elgato makes the game look amazing. So, yeah. Um, so, I don't usually edit. <laughs> yeah, so I can't really increase the sounds on the cutscenes. I do apologise um, for that, if you had to sort of turn up the... Uh, you know the audio to hear it but I, I can't really do anything about it other than try and get good with editing and actually buy a better editing program uh, because I don't have any of your you know your Sony Vegas or anything I could go and get a copy of it but I, I don't want it on <laughs> you know I, I'm it only affects the videos you know every now and again so I don't really see the point every car in this game has six gears by the looks of it which is very nice because every car in underground 2 has five gears um, I don't really know why you need six gears on a punto but there you go um, actually that's the point this game came out in 2005 this would have been like I don't even think this car was released until like 2006 um, okay so this game got the Fiat Punto exclusively, I guess, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, yay, 1500 quid cash. Alright, basically, we've got to work our way up the back blacklist. Simple as that. Okay, uh, right, next thing's next. Um, should we go. No, actually, I'm just gonna. It's a bit. 
I don't know if it's cheaty or lazy or whatnot, but basically most of the time in this game you don't really bother free roaming, you just keep jumping to safe house uh, and then just selecting stuff like this. Apparently we're going to see cops on this uh, race, which is good because we do need to get some sort of cop milestone things going on, so that's cool. Uh, we've got another interesting Audi there. <laughs> with a very big wing on it. We've also got a Punto which looks rather amusing. Um, I don't know if there's a body kit on that Punto, I do know there's a big spoiler on the Punto. I also know this car sounds nothing like any Fiat Punto I've ever encountered. Um, <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my mother actually owns a Alfa Mito which is kind of basically a Fiat Punto and it sounds nothing like this. Uh, and I'm pretty sure these are like almost the same cars because that's a 1.4 I think. That's going to be heavy, yeah. Uh, I don't really know if that shortcut was really worth it, but you know, you got to check. You got to take uh, your advantages here and there. Lil Timmy, interesting um, name. Oh, I was going to push against that and try and knock the donut up over and uh, fool some of them, but apparently not. Um, it won't let me do that. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we will be modifying the Punto, uh, well, probably throwing a different colour on it, I don't know if I'm going to bother doing any body kits or anything, there's no visual style rating in this game or anything, uh, so really, actually painting the cars and stuff is up to personal preference. That and um, basically what we're going to be doing is for the Blacklist races, I am going to be getting their cars. Even if that means me sort of having to restart the uh, thing and come back to it, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> it was basically a cheap tactic you used to be able to do back in the day. Basically, if you didn't get the blacklist car that you wanted... Hey, look, a policeman. If you didn't get the blacklist car you wanted, what you did is you basically just restarted your console. <laughs> and, and then went through the thing again and did it that way. I'm probably going to do that just... A to make the game a bit easier and B so we can actually have some like more car variety as well. Uh, I'll probably keep using the Punto because like the Golf's actually the Golf's fairly decent but uh, it's, I don't really want to drive a Golf. We drive a Golf in the other Need for Speed playthrough at the moment so why would I want to drive another Golf? <laughs> Not knocking the Golf or anything like but you know. Anyway uh, we're about to cross the line on this Hurra Sprint race. There we go. How nice. Alright, what we got to do? Uh, smash into two cars and escape the popo. Alright, let's do the smash into two cars bit. Oh god. No, they're trying to roll in block. This usually happens occasionally. Um, and when it happens, it's not good. Let's just run through the petrol station see if that's actually going to kill any of them. I don't think it will because I was nowhere near. Uh, near enough for that. So instead, I'm going to go and do... Oh god. Uh, I'm going to go and do my usual way of trying to escape the police quickly, which is go into a... Um, the... Oh god, what is it? It's like a football field, I think. That's usually the best way to sort of escape the police, is you sort of go in there, hit the pursuit breaker, and then sort of sit in there for a bit. That's usually the way I escape the police. Uh, yeah, uh, so you got a heat level in this game as well, basically, uh, for those of you who've never played again. Um, basically, as you get- ooh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I completely wiped that guy out! Um, yeah, basically, um, as the pursuit goes on, like, they get more and more aggressive and the heat level stays on your car. So, for now, they're chasing me in their sort of Crown Victoria rip-offs. However, you know, if I went to Pursuit 2, they'd switch to one Mark Cruisers and start putting out Roblox. Uh, 3, I believe, is where they get the Light Rhinos and the Pontiac GTO police cars out. Uh, 4 is unmarked GTOs. And I... Ooh. The 5th one is Corvettes. And there's also a 6th one if you um, basically beat the game or get to... A bit of the game. Um, are we gonna get one of them? Yeah, we are. Sweet. Yes, I know basic rules for evading the police. I just did that. Um, right. Onwards to not that. The safe house. Back to the safe house again. 
because we need more of the races or pursuits. I'm not sure. I don't think we need any more pursuits actually, because uh, I believe we've done two milestones. Yeah, we got two milestones, uh, so we just need to do that. Yeah, we know how. Um, basically, you've got to drive past the thing as fast as you can. As simple as that, really. Uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, the later ones do actually get quite difficult, you know, but... Hey look, that one's from the Blade 2 soundtrack. Um, I can't hear it, but, you know, it is. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, I'm doing what I did in Underground 2, which is basically keep the music on, but, like, put it really quiet. Hopefully YouTube doesn't recognise it, and hopefully, you know, you guys still get the experience of the music. Um, and, yeah, hopefully that all works out nicely. Um... <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, I, I I know music's a big part of these games. Uh, I don't know my voice isn't exactly the most riveting in the world. Alright, so we've done the milestones. We're probably going to have to get another pursuit anyway to get the bounty up. Uh, but we shall go and do this for now. Uh, and then we'll go and um, get the bounty up if we need to. Loading, 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 Volkswagen Golf, GTI, Chevy Cobalt, and a Audi RS4, okay. A bit of an interesting lineup to this race. Uh, so this is a lap knockout, the way this works, fairly simple. Uh, basically we race around for a bit, and it's kind of like a three lap race, but the last place gets eliminated each and every lap. Uh, so you basically just got to be the last one to be eliminated, really. Um, that's sort of the whole point of this. I'm trying to get run by that golf to increase speed, but all he wants to do is actually just take my rear end off, apparently. I uh, don't know if there's slipstream in this game, but we'll go for it anyway. Uh, I'm also not sure if nitrous actually... Yeah, nitrous refills automatically on this game as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was the first Need for Speed to have that instead of having to, you know, do skill stuff in Underground 2 to gain nitrous and I believe in the underground one you actually couldn't gain your nitrous back once you'd burn it off. Which is kind of more realistic but nitrous is kind of a big part of Need for Speed. <laughs> you know everyone loves the uh, the nitrous in Need for Speed and I guess they just wanted it so that uh, um, it was more easily accessible to players, I don't know. Ice Mern has been knocked out, I don't know. I'm not quite sure which one that was. The Imperator. Interesting names in this and Prez. Oh, that reminds me. Here's a fun little fact for you. Uh, this game actually gave me my first ever online nickname, uh, Razor22. Uh, for some reason, I liked Razor's name uh, and, and I decided to add in 22 on the end of it. And that was my first online identity, um, Razor22. And then, uh, when was it? I think it was still when I was playing this game. Uh, I then ended up going to uh, Nameless Guy 96, which was uh, um, a cool name back in the day. Unfortunately, I think it was taken on YouTube and Xbox Live. Uh, so I had to write it dead weird on Xbox Live, and unfortunately, I couldn't have it on YouTube. And then, sort of in 2010, uh, Halo Reach had just come out. And. Um, I like the character Emil, so I became Emil, and that's sort of how it's stuck today. <laughs> that's literally it. That's all there is to my uh, name. It's got a kind of cool story behind it, you know. It's not like, I don't know, one of those random names which is just like, hey, I plucked out of air one day and decided it was cool, so I'd roll with it. No, I, you know, mine does have a bit of a story to it. Uh, what other names did I have before that? Uh, I'm not even going to tell you guys my uh, first ever Xbox Live name because it was one of the Microsoft preset ones and it was crap. Um, but, I mean, I think I was v I was part of a clan once and my name was AC130 because I used to really like the kill streak in, uh, in Call of Duty. Uh, hold up, just going to quickly jump back to the safe house, get enough pursuit going maybe, uh, so we can get some more bounty up. And I can also check to make sure the recording's all working fine, uh, which it is. This is actually going to be quite a short episode. The first one of these, or the first few episodes of this, are actually going to be kind of short. Uh, ooh, bounty. Is that something we can... Oh, we can. Uh, this is the Hornet's Nurse Frequent... Okay. Let's go and do that. We've got seven and a half grand. Sweet. <laughs> well, I might go and paint the car quickly before we uh, jump in the race with... Um, I can't even remember what it's called. 
Oh, okay, right, we're just starting a pursuit here and here, are we? Uh, I don't really want a head-on collision in because, well... Uh, let's try and get some bounty up. How do we get this bounty up? Uh, we cause damage to things. <laughs> yeah, um, I like the pursuit system in this game. The pursuits are kind of fun. They can get a bit frustrating at times, you know. If you've sort of had them on your tail for ages and ages, it can get kind of boring. Uh, I was just crashing into people for the sake of crashing into people. I've never seen that blue car before. Hmm, it's a wreck. Whatever it is. But, yeah, that's still kind of cool. Uh, we'd need more bounty. We need, how much total bounty do we need? $20,000 or something? Um, so, yeah. I, I, I mean, the best way to do it is actually to wipe out police cruisers. But we sort of need more than one police cruiser. Otherwise, we're just going to sort of miss out on the old pursuit. We could actually keep the pursuit going for two minutes and do it that way. That might be an easy way of doing it. I'm not sure. Um, we'll try it, why not? Let's see if any cars actually join this pursuit. There's supposed to be five other police cars. Usually, like, this is the thing with the police in this game as well. That's the other irritating thing. They sort of don't appear when you don't want... They sort of appear when you don't want them there, and when you don't want them there, they appear. Uh, oh, there's two of them now. Can we get a head-on clue? Oh, not in speed break, we can't. Uh, speed Break is a new thing to this game as well, uh, from Underground 2. Basically, you slow down your car, it increases your mass, you go in slow motion, it's kind of cool. And you charge it up, and yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like reverse nitrous in a way, I guess. It actually helps more for turning corners than it does for anything else, but that's just sort of my line on it. Come on, I need to keep this pursuit going. Just stay on me for nine more seconds <laughs> I actually genuinely want to be pursued by police officers I'm also confusing those two buttons I do apologize uh, basically look back and um, what's the other one look back and um, the other one the speed breaker I get I can get them confused they're kind of in the same place so yeah uh, that's why I'm getting those two confused. Are you going to take that pursuit break for me? No, you're not. Gee, thanks, G. Right. Now we've actually got to try and get away from them. Let's see if we can actually do this. Can a stock Fiat Punto get away from many Crown Victorias? Fake Crown Victorias. I actually really like the look of the police cars in this game. Like, I don't know why I can't... I, you know, for those of you who know me, uh, I really like the Crown Victoria, like the police car. I don't know why. It's just, if I lived in America, I'd want one. So, yeah, don't ask me why, I just kind of like them. Can we sort of stay here? Maybe stay hidden over here. That's actually working, okay. Um, have we got enough bounty now? Yes, sick. Right, <laughs> let's go and challenge this fool. Oh. Actually, before we do, um, back out. Oh, no, not that. Okay, actually, you know, whatever, we'll do it this way. Uh, I apologize for this, but it needs to be done. Gameplay, autosave off, and yes. Yeah. Okay, just double check that it's off, which it is. And uh, now we can go and verse Sonny because um, basically by doing that, uh, if I don't win the car, I can just sort of end the episode off and then go after him again. Basically, <laughs> that's sort of my uh, my line of thinking on this. Right, let's go and challenge this fool. What's he want to do? Two circuit races? And of course he does. How short's this episode actually going to be? It's not going to be that short. Nowhere near as short as I thought it'd be. Uh, to be honest with you, the next blacklist might even be easier. Because uh, we've already got some bounty and stuff. There's us just chilling in the uh, the punto. And here comes the man with the golf. The GTI golf. That one's got a Kenwood sticker on it as well. That's kind of cool because the one in our uh, Underground 2 playthrough is uh, a Kenwood car. I don't know why it's this perfect launch because like... You can't get a perfect launch off there, which is just superb. <laughs> right. 
Uh, I've played through this circuit race about a thousand times, so at least I know what I'm doing uh, when it comes to this race. The later on races, I mean, I've beat this game a fair few times. Uh, upwards of five, probably. But, uh, do you, you know, I sort of know the first part of this game really well. But the uh, the later we go on, the less I know, um, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. I do remember actually once, I uh, I, I played through this uh, with an action replay, uh, which if, for those of you who don't know, is basically a thing on PS2, uh, where you could do sort of cheat codes on steroids, so when you started this game you could have like 99999 money and all the parts unlocked and stuff, so I remember I when I first like beat Sony um, with that, bear in mind I'd done it legitly a couple of times, but I beat Sony with like a Dodge Viper with like full nitrous and uh, full performance parts and everything. And he was still on my tail because I believe there's a catch up system in this game. Uh, luckily it works both ways and it's not that bad. Uh, it's kind of like Underground 2's catch up system, that wasn't necessarily bad. Uh, but you could sort it's one of those catch up systems where you can't really tell it's there until you like heavily outclass an opponent, basically. Um, so yeah, hopefully that makes sense to you. However, this guy who supposedly has a rocket ride uh, isn't doing very well uh, against a stock Fiat Punto. Yeah, sure, whatever. That <laughs> sure, that works for me. Uh, we got some bullet from my Valentine in the background. I'm not going to speak about the music because you know copyright. Yay, because that's a thing. Um, to be fair, actually, I don't, you know, a lot of YouTubers are sort of negative on the whole copyright thing. Considering I don't really, well, I don't make any money from YouTube at this uh, current moment. So, it, uh, you know, getting the old odd content claim doesn't really annoy me. Like, if it's on this channel, uh, I do usually wipe it clean and sort it out. Like, with the, I think I've only ever had two, though, and believe me, none of them are for Need for Speed. Uh, one of them was for uh, a Saints Row 2 thing. I recorded it on my old BlackBerry smartphone to give you an idea of how long ago that was. Uh, I recorded it on my BlackBerry. It was basically a thing where I just came across a bunch of people randomly singing in the mall. Like doing the... Uh, is it quartet dance? Quartet singing or something? Barbershop routine? You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, they were doing that. And I decided to record them doing that because I thought it was funny. Turns out, apparently, it was a copyrighted song. Um, I shouldn't have crashed into that guy then. Although, to be fair, you should never really crash into anyone in purpose unless it's Burnout 2. In which case, you should. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to win this race now. And he's taking the shortcut I was going to use. Bollocks. Actually, no. We we've got this. It's fine. Um... <laughs> What was I saying? Yeah, uh, I got one for a barb shop quarter thing, and I got another one basically on Forza 4 during the Let's Play. Uh, my microphone died, my Elgato cocked up. Uh, basically, for about a minute, you got sort of the nice main menu music, which it turns out is actually copyrighted, which is just superb. Um, so, yeah, I, I got done for that. But I've sorted both of those out. Uh, the Saints Row 2 one, I'm pretty sure I just got rid of the video in the end. And for the Forza 4 Let's Play thing, I um, took that bit out. It gives you an option to remove the song, uh, and I did that. So, yeah. Uh, technically, you could do the same here, however, it would remove um, some of my commentary as well, which is kind of important. Uh, at least in my opinion, it's kind of important. I don't know if it is in your lots, but in my opinion, my commentary is kind of important. So... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. He's um he's gone flying past apparently. Uh, is this shortcut available on our left? Answer: Yes, it is. Okay, that's cool. Uh, basically, if the shortcuts are available in this game, take them. They're pretty good. I kind of know where most of them are as well, which is uh, helpful. Um, I guess I also wanted to quickly speak about the future as well after this. Uh, after most wanted, we are gonna go to Need for Speed Carbon, I reckon. Excuse me. Uh, obviously, that's quite a ways off. We're, you know, this is only like the first real episode of this Let's Play. However, after this Let's Play, we shall be playing through a Need for Speed Carbon for any those of you interested. 
Uh, I played through it actually quite kind of recently. That game's a hell of a lot of fun. It, it's really good. It's a good game actually, Carbon. I do like it. I do have to admit, I played Carbon before I played Most Wanted. Uh, this game. And I don't know, when I was first playing Most Wanted, like, it felt like a beta test for Carbon. Just because there was, like, you know, in Carbon, you've got all the auto sculpt and stuff like that. Well, as in this game, like, you've only really got body kits and you're a little bit limited on what you can do. There's not too many cars, which is kind of, like, why I thought Carbon was a, a superior game originally. You know, obviously I know now that this game is probably better than Carbon. Uh, the city is definitely better than Carbon because Carbon City is confusing as hell. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just something I always thought. So yeah, um, that's about all I've got interesting to say really. Um, other than we've got to try and beat this cat in his Golf GTI. Um, I guess, um, no, actually I'll save that for another bit. Um, plus I can't really describe at the moment why I like this game so much. I just sort of do. Uh, ooh, that reminds me, um, for those of you curious, there's a challenge series in this game, uh, for those of you who remember it. Well, basically, you just do little challenges and stuff, that's in the main menu. Uh, that's currently, I'm playing through that on my second channel, CRE Playthroughs. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you want to see the challenges, go and check that out. Right, let's try and get us a car, and if we can't get us a car, then we're going to rage quit. <laughs> basically. Oh, poor Sonny. He's been de defeated. Defeated? Defeated. Sure. Congratulations, two markers. Let's do this. Uh, right, I'm thinking middle. And end. You arse. Well, um, that's it for uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted for today. We've beaten Sonny, uh, so next time we're going to go and defeat Blacklist 14. I'll introduce him in uh, that video. But yeah, anyway, friends, other than that, uh, that's it for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been The Real Emil. Until next time, farewell.